Hello Toots, welcome to techtoot.com. In this video, we are going to learn about condition checking and if else. Ok, so let's begin. So in real life, uh, we always got into situations where we have to take a decision uh, taking into account some particular condition, right? So take an example like if you have given an exam and you have gotten marks less than 40, So, if the answer to this question is yes, then you have definitely failed, right? In most of the cases. Okay. So, if you have gotten greater than equal to 40, then you are passed. Okay. So, if you want to model this situation into a program, what you will do? You will use if else. If else are particular keywords whose meanings are explained to the compiler. So, how do you write it? So, just remember what I am writing. It's a fragment of program. It's not a whole program. You can get the whole program in the illustration section. Okay. So, it's a part of the program. So, you write if, then you write the condition you want to check within this pair of parentheses and then if it's true, then you can just print fail. Okay? And if it's false, Whatever you want to do, you write after else keyword. Okay, so this is a keyword if and this is another keyword else. So after if, within a pair of parentheses, you need to write your condition. If the condition is true, the statement immediate to the if, if line will be executed. And if this condition is false, then the statement immediate to the this else keyword will be executed. So just remember that this else part is not always mandatory. If you just want to do something if your condition is true, you can just ignore the else part. But if you want to write something in the else part, you have to pair it off with some if statement. Okay? So what is the basic structure, general structure of if? So it's if, then in a parenthesis, pair of parentheses, you write the condition and then you write your statement. Okay? You can just end it here or if you want to do something, if the, this condition is false, then you write else and then whatever you want to be executed here. So, this structure will act only when, this structure will work only when you need to execute only one statement for the true or false sense of your condition, ok. So, if you want to execute more than one statement, what you do? You write your condition, then you write the multiple lines of statements within a pair of braces. Okay. Similarly, in the else part, you can also write multiple statements. Okay. Each statement should be ended by semicolon. These things you need to remember. You can write any statements in here. So, this is the general structure of if else. Okay. So, same here, this else part you can just ignore. What the other thing you need to remember is that you don't need to put any condition here after else because else will act for this if. If this the condition within this if is false then only then this else, con else statements will be executed. Okay. So if this is true then this set of statements will be executed and if this condition is false then this. So, 
these set of statements and these set of statements cannot be executed both of them cannot be executed in a program either this or this will be executed okay so just uh, we can just take few example of like we have already checked like marks is less than 40 right so this less than operator it is called relational operator so what are the other relational operators are there in c programming language first one is equal to so for equality checking you need to write two equal signs okay the only one equal sign is used for initialization of values or assignment as assignment so for equality checking you need to write two equal signs for not equal checking you write exclamation sign then equal for less than you have already seen it's simply the less than sign for greater than the greater than sign for less than equality checking you need to write it as less than then equal sign for greater than equal to greater than then equal to sign okay so simply there are six relational operators available for condition checking so what we are going to learn in the next lectures are few complex structures of if else like nested if else and else if statement we are going to learn in our next lecture and we will also cover logical operators and ternary operators so see you in the le next lectures thank you for watching